Hello and thanks for stopping by my channel. I put together a short video to demonstrate a combination analog effects controller and switch for guitar or bass analog effects pedals. I hope you find this video interesting and please leave your comments below. Also, be sure to hit subscribe for future updates to this project. So this video is a breakdown of a concept that's meant to demonstrate just a few of the possibilities with existing analog effects products from a variety of analog effects manufacturers. Let's start with the collection of analog pedals. Pedals have many common features, which I'm sure you're aware of. They've got inputs on the right, they have outputs on the left. Typically power comes in from behind, 9 volts or so. Potentiometers across the top adjust the amount of the effect that you want. And they have a collection of switches. Some of these switches are, are for bringing the, the, uh, the pedal in or out of the circuit with your foot. Some of them are for simply uh, selecting other modes within, a, within the pedal. So how would you go about controlling the effect of a pedal? So let's start with a pedal. If you were to take this pedal and disassemble it, what you'd find inside is essentially a circuit board that looks similar to this one. And in this one, you've got the 9 volts coming in from the rear, your foot switch, input, output, and here's your potentiometers for adjusting the effect, a switch, perhaps an LED. If you were to take and remove all of these components, what you'd have left is a circuit card that has the electronics on it, which are responsible for the effect. Now, I don't know how this circuit works, and I don't really care. I just want to take the circuit card with the essential components that have the effect and put them inside of a modular case, some electronics to interface it into a backplane, and put a cover on it. Now if I were to repeat this process for collection of pedals, what I would end up with is a collection of modules, with each module having an interface into a backplane. Now these are ready for insertion into a custom switch controller. Here we have the modules installed into the switch controller with the touchscreen interface. Through the touchscreen interface, you can independently configure each module. The path through the effects controller is from the upper left to the lower right. Here we see six modules installed. These two slots are empty. To access a module for control of its effect, simply touch the icon for the module. Once the control screen is open, adjustments can be made to the effect with the sliders, which have replaced the potentiometers and touch switches which have replaced the mode switches on the pedal. Once you have the effect you want, simply close the touchscreen interface and configure the rest in a like manner. To reorder pedals in this system, drag and drop them into any order you wish. Let's walk through a typical setup for a bass. Let's keep it simple. I have a, a compressor. I'm going to turn it on. Um, I have a passive bass. We'll put it in normal and uh, use a standard that these are some presets from the manufacturer that I've some, some suggestions that I've loaded in as presets into the pedal. And uh, go for the bass overdrive. Same thing here. Um, and go with the preset. Bring this one in and close and I have a foot switch which I can bring in the multi comp through a foot switch you'll see it come in here so you can work your you can use it local or with a foot switch and so if I go back to the bass drive let's try um, just bass try with an overdrive So, and now we can save this as a, as a song or as, a, as an effect or however you want to name it. doesn't matter. So it should say save effect setting, but it says save song. Um, right now, I had one in there called Light Overdrive. Let's call this um, a demo. Done. Okay. And so if I go to my library, I have a lot of different settings in here. There's a demo I just put in. I could add that as a song. I could take and have a playlist of songs to play and I could step through. I could step down through the playlist. And then if in this song I don't want the bass driver, I can just hit the pedal and you'll see it bypassed 
and I can even bypass the compressor and this is everything normal. The real power of this type of a system is its flexibility, its ability to change everything with just the push of a button. So I've created three simple songs here, with three simple settings, uh, PM for phase modulator, flanger, and a chorus. And you can't really see what's happening at this level, but if you were to go down and look into this single pedal here, you'd see that in flanger, the flanger, I have a song, I just called it flanger, and this configuration is just uh, something I threw in. And I can step through to another song, I could call it phase modulator, and you can see the PM is set and all the pots have changed. Flanger, and then here's chorus, different settings. Flanger. Phase modulator. So what you see changing here on this one module actually could be changing on all of them at the same time, but I'm just de demonstrating one at the moment. Here we have the complete prototype concept. The configurable switch panel on the left remotely operates the module controller on the right. A display in the upper right of the switch panel displays the current song that the controller is configured to. The playlist can be advanced from either the switch panel or the touchscreen. Note that every song can have any pedal bypassed or active with independent effects module ordering and effect settings. Both the touchscreen and the switch panel are coherent, meaning that information displayed on one is the same on the other. Changing anything on either one changes the other. For now, the lower eight switches on the switch panel are simply used to activate or bypass an effects module. The controller is capable of providing presets within a current song's effects setting, so a foot switch could be configured to switch to a preset for a solo performance and back to the original effect after the solo. Also, any preset can have any pedal bypassed or active with independent effects module ordering and effect settings. In other words, a preset can have an entirely different effects configuration when compared to the base settings of the song. This architecture is extremely flexible for these types of considerations and we're interested in what performing musicians would like to see. There are loads of features I don't cover here. For example, this is an internet connected device that can provide a direct channel between pedal manufacturers and musicians for recommendations or support issues. It also has a high-resolution studio record playback capability. And there's a social aspect for connecting musicians with one another, either locally or anywhere in the world. What this video contains is just the start, the tip of the iceberg. Again, thanks for stopping by and please leave your comments below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.